greeting students welcome to my class students how are you all i hope that you all are fit and fine and i hope the same for your family members so students in the previous two classes we discussed your art integrated project of english i told you how to make it one or two students uh, they had doubts and they asked me they cleared their doubts and if you have some doubts related to your art integrated project you can ask your doubts in the comment box of this or you can whatsapp me you all have my numbers so i cleared their doubts the students which had doubts they asked me and i cleared their doubts i will clear your doubts also if you have and uh, it is must for everyone i am keep reminding you all that you all have to make because this project contains your internal assessment marks 10 to 20 marks so it is very important so all of you make this it is compulsory and it is must for each and every one all the best now we started the chapter of your english supplementary book footprints without feet and the chapter name is bholi and it is written by k a abbas and i told you the brief summary of this chapter and we started the explanation of the chapter so far we have read up to and we have come to know that bholi is the youngest you know member in her family his father name is ramlal and mother he is the number dar who is the revenue officer revenue collecting officer in gover in that village and he had three sons and four daughters and she is the youngest one in the family means she was the youngest daughter sabse choti ladki aur sabse ladkiyon mein bhi sabse choti aur vaise parivar mein bhi sabse choti ladki thi when she was only 10 months old she uh, well done from her coat and पालना जो होता है ऑन हर हेड एंड दैट डैमेज सम पार्ट ऑफ हर ब्रेन ड्यू टू दैट शी यू नो बिकेम अ सिम्पलेटन गर्ल हु कैन बी इजली एंड सिंस देन पीपल चिल्ड्रन यूज टू कॉल दैम भोली अ सिम्पलेटन हु सिम्पलेटन हु कैन बी इजली फूल्ड एंड देन वेन शी वॉज टू ईयर्स ओल्ड शी हैड एन अटैक ऑफ स्मॉल पॉक्स विच यू नो डैमेज हर यू नो ब्यूटी बिकॉज वेन शी वॉज बॉर्न शी वॉज प्रिटी एंड ब्यूटिफुल but because due to that attack of small chicken pox or you know small pox that left all the black dots marks on all, all her body including face she started looking ugly also and you know she couldn't speak until she was 5 completed 5 and after that also she stammered and other kids of her age made fun of her so she spoke very little so she the time was going like this and when all you know the youngest the sorry the eldest daughter was married and the second number daughter was about to get married because her father you know champa who was the second daughter and uh, father means ramlal you know arranged her marriage and they were worried about you know bholi because bholi was not good looking and she didn't have intelligence either also and all three daughters were young healthy and strong but bholi was not good looking because of that attack of chicken uh, smallpox and she didn't have the intelligence also and at the same year there was a primary school open and the tehsildar ordered bholi's father that you are you know number dar here revenue officer you are the represent government representative of this village so you must send your daughters in the school when he discussed with his wife his wife clearly said that don't send the daughters in the school if you'll send who will marry them then the uh, number ramlal said that you know it is compulsory to send and i cannot deny when then she gave him an idea that you can send bholi you know because she had very rare little chance or no chance of getting married and teachers will take care so ramla liked this idea and next day he was taking bholi to the school bholi was scared she frightened and uh, you know she shouted no 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 and then ramla said i am only taking to the school then uh, he told 
his wife that you know give him some new clothes and dress him dress her properly otherwise what will the teachers and other school girls will think about us what would be about our rep- our reputation and it would not leave a good um, impression so because uh, he was uh, he was the revenue officer in that village and he uh, he, were, he belongs to a prosperous farmers farmers house so Uh, that's why he said that so bholi who in 7 years who had never got a new dress because of her looks and she was really a simpleton she was not good looking nor have the intelligence so neither good looking nor have the intelligence that's why and that on that day you know she got the still she got the second hand dress but it was new because that dress was shrunk and after many wash it was not fit to champa that's why it was given to bholi and that day she got the bath also her hair was oiled and you know she was very happy that in this 7 years i have never got the bath because of my looks and all that and now i got the bath my you know i got new dress and i got my hair oiled and you know well combed and all that thing so she thought that school must be very good place so we have read up to here my dear students now we will read uh, now we will read further we will do the further explanation of the chapter my dear students we have read up to here page number 56 when they reached the school the children were already in their classrooms ramlal handed over his daughter to the headmistress left alone the poor girl looked about her with fear laden eyes there were several rooms and in each room girls like her squatted on mats reading from books or writing on slates the headmistress asked bholi to sit down in a corner in one of the classroom so we have read up to here now we'll read further and i'll explain it further bholi did not know what exactly a school was like and what happened there she was 7 years old and in that village also and in her family girls did not go to school used not go to school so she also didn't go so she had no idea that what a school was like and what happened there wahan pe kya hota hai but she was glad to find so many girls almost of her own age present there she hoped that one of these girls might become her friend but she was happy that she because she saw some other girls many girls there and she thought that at least one of th- these girl will become her friend uski dost ban jayegi inme se ek to The lady teacher who was in the class was saying something to the girls but Bholi could understand nothing so the teacher she didn't have any idea she was just thinking that one of these girls will become my friend and when the lady teacher was you know saying something or explaining something to the girls and Bholi could not understand anything or nothing and she looked at the pictures on the wall she only looked उसने क्या देखा सिर्फ पिक्चर्स को ही देखा द जो दीवारों पर थी द कलर्स फैसिनेटेड हर फैसिनेटेड मीन अट्रैक्ट करना द हॉर्स वॉज ब्राउन जस्ट लाइक द हॉर्स ऑन विच द तहसीलदार हैड कम टू विजिट देयर विलेज सो शी वॉज सींग द पिक्चर्स ऑन द वॉल एंड द कलर्स ऑफ दोज पिक्चर्स वो नो फैसिनेटिंग हर उसको आकर्षित कर रहे थे अट्रैक्ट कर रहे थे द हॉर्स वॉज ब्राउन टू द घोड़ा वन ऑफ द पिक्चर देर वॉज अ हॉर्स हुज कलर हुज कलर वॉज ब्राउन एंड इट वॉज जस्ट द सेम द लाइक द हॉर्स ऑन विच द तहसीलदार हैड कम टू विजिट देयर विलेज द गॉड द गोट वॉज ब्लैक लाइक द गोट ऑफ देयर नेबर सो शी हैड देयर नेबर हैड अट goat which was black in color and she saw the one of the pictures uh, there was a goat that goat was also black in color so she was you know uh, resemble all those pictures was resembling all what she had already seen and she was just thinking all these things the parrot was green like the parrots she had seen in the mango orchard jo mango orchard bagicha aam ke bagiche mein jo usne tote dekhe the wo bhi green the aur jo picture mein tota tha wo bhi green tha and the cow was just like their lakshmi and the cow in the picture was just the cow lakshmi they had you know 
and suddenly Bholi noticed what she noticed that the teacher was standing by her side smiling at her. So when she was lost you know, in you know, seeing the pictures on the wall and what had been made on those pictures and the pictures which she was seeing, she, she was seeing and she saw all those things uh, made in th those pictures already and she was seeing that the goat is like the neighbor had goat, the horse was just like the horse with the silver had come to visit and the cow was just like the cow, they had Lakshmi and meanwhile she was thinking she suddenly saw that teacher by standing next to her standing by her smiling at her what is your name little one so then she asked the name uh, she used to stammer so she stammered bha, 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 bho, bho. she could stammer no further than that so she when teacher asked what's your name little you know uh, then she bha, bho, bho. And she could stammer this only, not further than that. Then she began to cry and tears flowed from her eyes in a helpless fl flood. She, you know, why she began to cry? Because other girls were also there in the classroom. And when teacher asked what's her name, she couldn't even tell her name. She couldn't even speak her name due to the, you know, stammering. And she could said only, she could only said, uh, she could only say bha bho bho. So that's why she felt very embarrassing and she felt insulted and she felt bad and she started crying. She kept her head down as she sat in her corner not daring to look up at the girls who she knew were still laughing at her. So when she couldn't even speak her name completely, she started crying, you know, and she just looked down. She couldn't have the guts or the courage to look up because and um, not daring to look up at the girls or because she knew they still were, uh, they were still laughing at her. And she started crying. When the school bell rang, all the girls screed out of the classroom, but Bholi dared not leave her corner. But Bholi, you know, she didn't have the courage or dare to just leave her corner. She was sitting in that corner only. Her head still lowered. She kept in sobbing. She kept on sobbing. She kept on sobbing. Like this, so she was doing this, sobbing, siskiya lena. Bholi, the teacher's voice was so soft and soothing. In all her life, she had never been called like that. It touched her heart. So, teacher called her very softly and it was very soothing. And in all her life, seven years, she was never called with this softness and with this love and soothness. So, that voice touched her heart. Get up, said the teacher. It was not a command, but just a friendly suggestion. Bholi got up. The teacher first asked, uh, uh, said her name Bholi. Get up. Very softly and very soothingly. And that touched Bholi's heart. And she got up. Uh, now tell me your name. Then teacher again asked her name. Sweat broke out over her whole body. No, pure pura opasine me nahagai when teacher asked his her name. Would her stammering tongue again disgrace her? For the sake of this kind woman, however, she decided to make an effort. She had such a soothing voice, she would not laugh at her. When again she asked her name, so she was an Upasina Agasko, Kapne Lagi, and she thought that would her Kabuski, Ladkarati, Haklati, Avasu, Abnanam Batapai, Gosko, Firse Sharminda, on a Prega, disgrace. For the sake of this kind woman, at least is Dealu or Kelie, however, she decided to make an effort. So she decided that for, you know, I would give an effort for the sake of this kind woman or kind yes 
she had such a soothing voice she would not laugh at her and bolly thought that she had a, uski bahut hi soothing you know tasalli dene wali awaaz thi uh, and she would not laugh at her and bolly you know thought that she would not laugh at her also uske upar wo hasegi nahi bha bha bho bho she began to stammer when she tried to speak her name she again began to stammer usne haklana shuru kar diya bha bha bho bho she was she started doing this well done well done the teacher encouraged her come on now the full name so teacher encouraged her and teacher said now tell me the full name bha bha bho bholi at last she was able to say it and felt relieved as if it was a great achievement so at last she was able to say her complete name and because teacher encouraged her well done well done and well done the teacher patted her affectionately and said put the fear out of your heart and you will be able to speak like everyone else when it uh, she when bholi was able to say her name completely it was really she was relieved and it was an achievement for her and then you know because the teacher was motivating her she again motivated her she said well done patted her you know usko thap thapaya affectionately and said put the fear out of your heart apne dil se dar nikal do and then you will be able to speak like everyone else so tum bhi dusron ki tarah aaram se bol sakti ho bholi looked up as if to ask really bholi ne upar sar utha kar dekha ki sach mein yes yes it will be very easy you just come to school every day will you come bholi nodded no say it aloud Bholi उसने बोला yes yes you can do it it will be very easy so you have to come to school every day will you come to school every day she said yes no did means हाँ मैं हाँ सर हिलाया बो no no say it loud teacher said उसको जोर से बोल के बताओ ये ये yes and Bholi herself was astonished surprised थी that she had been able to say it और Bholi खुद ही surprised हो गई कि यह wow I you know she was surprised at herself that she you know she was able to say that she had been able to say it didn't i tell you now take this book and when bholi was able to say loudly yeah yeah yes and teacher said i told you so take this book now the book was full of nice pictures and the pictures were in colors dog cat god goat horse parrot tiger and a cow just like lakshmi and with every picture was a word in big black letters so she got a picture got a book with pictures and uh, every pictures in front of that uh, every picture there was a word in big black letters in one month you will be able to read this book then i will give you a bigger book then i still a uh, bigger one in time you will be more learned than anyone else in the village she said in one month you will complete this book you will be able to read this book after that i'll give you bigger one than this then the bigger one that another and you know in time aane wale samay mein you will be more learned tum in sab se zyada samajhdar aur jisko pata hoga than everyone else in the village village mein jitne bhi log hain unse bhi tum zyada janne lagogi then no one will ever be able to laugh at you people will listen to you with respect and you will be able to speak without the slightest stammer understand now go home and come back early tomorrow morning bholi felt as so she said you will be uh, then there will be then no one will be able to laugh at you and they will listen to you with respect and you will be able to speak without the slightest stammer bilkul bhi nahi haklaoge zara sa bhi log sunenge de tumhari baat sunenge respect karenge now go home and come back early tomorrow morning or kal subah jaldi aana bholi felt as if suddenly all the bells in the village temple were ringing and the trees in front of the school house had blossomed into big red flowers her heart was throbbing with a new hope and a new life so when she got this you know 
motivation encouragement support from her teacher who really inspired her she suddenly felt that the jitni bhi all the you know ring bells in the village temple they were ringing and trees were blossom phool khil gaye hain lal color ke and her heart uska dil was throbbing with a new hope and new life खुशी से भर गया था एक न्यू होप से एक नई उम्मीद की किरण जाग गई थी एक नई लाइफ न्यू नया जीवन जाग चुका था उसके दिल में सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स देयर वर टू रीड एंड फाइंड आउट क्वेश्चंस बिफोर वी स्टार्टेड दिस सो द फर्स्ट वन इज डस भोली इंजॉय हर फर्स्ट डे एट स्कूल डस शी फाइंड हर टीचर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पीपल एट होम so does she enjoy her first day in the school well if you will say the part where the teacher asked her name and you know she was stammering she started crying so we'll say no she didn't enjoy but after the encouragement motivation support from teacher kind words and you know she felt it good she felt her heart throbbing with a you know, new hope and a new life so we could say yeah she enjoyed and she did not enjoy does she find a teacher different from the people at home yes she does find the teacher was different from the people at her home because people at her home did not talk to her nicely did not treat her in a good way and they used to call bholi simpleton who could be easily fooled by other people uh, they uh, even her parents her mother you know did not take care of her at home did not encourage her uh, about uh, did not do anything about her stammering but the teacher who met her for the first time uh, in spite or despite in spite you know uh, uh, despite of her bad looks you know ugly looks teacher talked to her very nicely softly and soothing voice motivated her when she was not able to speak even her name she motivated her well done you can do it and then she said you know read this book and you will be i'll give you more books to read you will be a learned person everyone will respect you nobody will be able to laugh at you and they will listen to you they will respect you then she suddenly you know felt that her heart was throbbing with a new hope and a new life so yes she was different yes my dear students and dear student that is it in today's class we will meet tomorrow and then we will continue the explanation of the chapter thank you very much